Okay, so this one's gonna be a short little video. How to test your speakers to determine if they're bad, maybe with an ohm meter, maybe just by listening to the speakers. So I have this Panasonic little compact bookshelf speaker right here, and I can remove the front from it just like that. And it reveals a two-way system, a woofer and a tweeter. So I do have copyright free audio going into it. And I've got my lavalier microphone disconnected. So I'm going to hit the play button on the MP3 player and we'll take a listen to both the woofer and the tweeter. <laughs> So that's the woofer, it sounds pretty good, but listen to the tweeter. I'm getting absolutely nothing. So I've already found the problem with the speaker. So let me go ahead and repair the tweeter portion of it. Now let's take a listen to the woofer and the tweeter respectively at this point. Here's the woofer. And now listen to this. way different. So because I have this unit torn apart basically, I can actually disconnect the woofer right now and we'll take a listen to just the tweeter without the woofer connected. Okay, so this is just the tweeter working. Nothing on the woofer right now. So if you have a receiver that had a damaged channel, go ahead and just put your ear up to the woofer and the tweeter. Go ahead and listen to those at a low volume level and just make sure that you can hear audio out of all of the speakers, whether it be a two-way, a three-way, or even some of the speakers that went back into the 70s that had four and five-way systems. Listen to make sure that you hear sound out of every single speaker. Because if you don't hear sound out of one, it's a possibility it has a shorted voice coil. If it has has a shorted voice coil, that's effectively a dead short into the amplifier. It's just like crossing the leads positive to negative and it can actually do damage to your amplifier. So let's grab the ohmmeter real quick. We'll do an ohm check on the speaker. So this speaker is rated at six ohms impedance. Normally DC resistance on a speaker is an ohm or two less than the rated impedance. The impedance is a rating at a certain frequency. So let's go ahead and check the DC resistance on this. I'd expect to see about 5 ohms approximately and I do actually see 6.0 exactly so these might actually be 8 ohm speakers but because there is a crossover capacitor in this unit you really can't measure the tweeter you need to actually listen to make sure the tweeter is working so just a real quick video if you have a problem with the speaker that may have damaged an amplifier at some point turn the unit up to a fairly low volume put your ear up to the woofer the mid-range, the tweeters, it may have multiple ones. Make sure you hear sound from every single speaker. Otherwise, it may damage that amplifier again. I certainly hope you enjoyed this quick little video on how to diagnose a speaker problem that may have damaged an amplifier. Everyone have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this short little video. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.